Hello, so welcome to another video. So this house is going to be a Cinderella ranch home, um, which I'll explain, <laughs> but this house is also based off of a real house. I found the photos of which I created a floor plan myself in order to build this in The Sims. Um, I found the photos off of a website, I think it's called Retro Renovation. I will just link it down below so you can read all about it um, and see whoever runs that website, whoever, you know, posts everything there, you can see their commentary on and everything too. I didn't want to just take the photos from there and post it on here. I'm sure it's probably okay, but like I just felt like I shouldn't. I felt like that was like freebooting or something, like I was stealing. <laughs> so I just won't do that and I'll just link it down below so you can see exactly what this house that I'm basing this video um, off of like what it looks like in real life. So anyways, Cinderella homes or Cinderella ranches or storybook ranches, they were a certain style um, of a certain period. They were created by, supposedly created by this guy named Gene Vandruff, and he had, I think he had like a building company with his brother or something like that. Um, but he started building these homes in like 1954 in Southern California. And it was the like LA, um, Downey, that sort of area. So, these houses quickly gained popularity because of their style. They kind of promise this magical experience and or this living experience and they evoked this sense of hominess. So, um, a wife or whatever, cause you know, at this time it was a nuclear family. It was the husband goes to work, the wife stays home, the kids go off to school, people barely see each other, but <laughs> the wife has to keep house. And usually that's, that's, that was kind of the standard, um, family system. So homes of this time, this is why ranch homes were so popular due to their division, um, of how the homes were laid out and stuff. So Cinderella ranches were no different in that sense. They were just as popular as any other ranch, but their particular style um, did draw in people. So this style of home branched out from Southern California. So the actual company that Vandruff had started, they did make homes for a period of time, um, I think about a decade or so in this style. And they spread to, like, New Mexico, Nevada, and the surrounding areas. But by, I think, sometime in the 60s, let me see, let me look it up real time. <laughs> um, they went out of fashion, basically, because the shaker, or shake, shingle, shake roof, whatever... It became illegal in the 1960s um, so because they weren't fire safe. So these homes, because the shaker style roofing was kind of part of the, you know, part of the design. Um, Gene Vandruff and I guess his company, they stopped making the homes um, in the 1960s. So... <laughs> or sometime around there, 1970s maybe, I don't know. But they stopped making them simply because they couldn't get the exact same look that they wanted. Um, which, okay, if you're, you know, true to a craft, I guess. But um, these homes, regardless, were popular then and are still popular now for people who like uh, vintage homes and stuff like that. They're, they still exist in their true forms. There's plenty of them where I'm from and I live in Northern California. This house that this one is based off of was actually in Massachusetts, which is really rare. And, um, that's why I think this house was a custom built house. The website, I believe it didn't say, but just everything about it screams like a custom house. So, it would make sense for a Cinderella home to be that far away from its 
um, epicenter, I guess. But the things that characterize a Cinderella home are obviously the shaker style um, roofs, as well as the very overhanging eaves. A lot of times they were not symmetrical in the eaves and um, would have one really long one, <laughs> like going all the way to the ground or close to it. And um, they would have little details like scalloped edging along the roof and stuff like that. And they evoke the style of like medieval, um, medieval style homes or Tudor style homes really heavily. It's basically a Tudor style ranch is essentially what it was. In the 1930s, Tudor homes became very, or Tudor style homes, I should say, became very popular in um, America. And this is kind of a continuation of that really is how I see it. Tudor style homes aren't really that popular now, but in the mid century, they really, really were. And obviously that style is carried over from um, England or Europe and we just made it our own as Americans tend to do. <laughs> so that's why there's a lot of stone. That's why there's a lot of dark wood and stained glass. Um, it does kind of give the feeling of somebody getting like discounted medieval times like <laughs> materials building materials and making a house out of it like that's the feel that I get from it but I just love it I think it's so unique it's so different and it does feel like home something about it is just so homey and cozy and it's just so nice so let me explain a little bit of my process here because it, you might be confused now. Um, the entire living room that I had made previous to what you're seeing now, I had to completely, well, it wasn't by choice. Basically, I was trying to do, after building the living room, kitchen, and the main bathroom of this house, I was tired of building and decided I wanted to do a rags to riches thing in which I just have someone live on an off the grid lot in uh, Sulani and try my best to have her survive. Um, so she died. <laughs> she got struck twice by lightning <laughs> and she died. And um, I thought maybe if I quit the game without saving I could get her back somehow, completely forgetting that I hadn't saved after building this. So, rookie mistakes. Rookie mistakes. I lost the sim and I lost the, <laughs> the living room and the kitchen and the bathroom. So, I had to completely redo those. That's why it took me so long to do this video because I was mad at the game and <laughs> not at myself. I do not take responsibility. But I do really love how this living room came out. This version is so much better than the first version, in my opinion. Um, I don't know what I was thinking with the first version. I was just struggling, <laughs> basically. But I was having issues with the carpet um, for this living room because it is lowered. It's a step down. It technically isn't on a foundation, so it doesn't recognize it as part of the house. So that was making all of the carpet look like all the green carpet looked blue. All of the brown carpet looked like a blackish purple. It didn't look right at all. So um, I discovered a trick or whatever of putting just one of the giant carpets down. And it doesn't seem to mess with the color of that. So we're just going to pretend that that is the carpet. <laughs> and it's like the perfect shade of green. It matches the original really closely. So yeah. Um, this house is just, it's super weird, and I hope you're getting that from this video, but it's super weird. It's got so many rooms, and I don't know why, <laughs> but I think this house was basically just built for entertaining. It's like you have so much space to have people over. You have so much space to have, like, kids' friends over, you know, and this house would be, like, the best house to have a giant sleepover at or a giant party at like it would be cool um and I'm sure this the real house did have a lot of cool parties here because this whole little extra space from like the kitchen over it's all just entertaining space it's it serves no real purpose other than like this part being a bathroom and this part being a laundry room 
everything else is really unnecessary. <laughs> so um, this little space right off the kitchen, I don't know what it was originally intended to be. I don't even think the um, website that talked about this house knows exactly what it was supposed to be, but I just made it kind of like a, a homework spot is like what I was thinking of it as. Like you would just go here and do your homework or something. That's why it's just crappy folding chairs, but like I don't, I don't know. I really, I would love to hear some other idea of what to do with this because I just didn't want to do another living room. <laughs> I didn't want to put another couch down. So maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should have, but whatever. And then the other room, the dark room, which I'll decorate in a second here, that one I made just kind of the party room. So it's got like the bar area, this room. And it's got another radio. It, it's just the hangout spot, I guess, for like the adults or something. And you can even, there's three doors into this place. And that is how it is in real life too. Actually, in the website, it didn't show the door coming from the actual, like um, the house, like by the fireplace over on the right side there. It didn't show that door being there. So there could have been no entrance into that room, maybe, from the actual inside of the house, but I don't think that was the case. I think there was probably a door there, <laughs> and I just kind of guessed and put one there, because where else would you put one here? But yeah, so you can completely enter this room from the outside and never go into the actual main house, so um, I definitely think this was like the party room of the actual house because why else would you need that? <laughs> why else would you need two, like a, two different doors from the outside going into it? You know, people sneaking out late at night, don't want to bother the rest of the house. You got kids sleeping, but you're partying. <laughs> I don't know. That seems reasonable to me. Like that seems like a smart idea. So props to these people in their house. And then this room is kind of, I think this room might have been added on too. Um, cause it's just kind of, I didn't know what to do with it. Like I made it sort of a sunroom, just sitting spot, I guess. Um, has another little radio in that I'm going to add in a second, but yeah, it's not really, this room is so unnecessary. You could make it a bedroom. You could make it, um, an extra kitchen like if you wanted to renovate this house this would be perfect space to put more kitchen but I don't know this is just how the house was so that's what I did but I don't the bedrooms and everything are pretty normal it's just the rest of the house is weird <laughs> and that bathroom is also kind of weird like pink purple and black bathroom is very interesting and I also thought that it was interesting that is the master bed bathroom um, as well as the main bathroom. So the other two bedrooms that are across the hall, that is their main bathroom as well. Um, so it's kind of interesting. It's a big bathroom, so I guess it's fine, but it's kind of interesting. They have so much space on like the rest of the house and then they're just like, oh, we only need one bathroom over here. It's okay. <laughs> but, um, you do have a little half bath on the other side, which in the real house, it is a full bath. They fit a shower and like a corner sink in there. I really wish we had corner sinks in The Sims. Speaking of things that I wish we had in The Sims, I got one of my wishes. <laughs> As I'm sure like anyone, you know, who keeps up with The Sims knows by now, we now have configurable stairs. So I can make use stairs. I can make stairs that turn a corner and have a landing on them. And that is so exciting. Like the prospects of, you know, craftsman homes, Victorian houses. Oh my God. I didn't even think about Victorian houses. <gasps> wow. Yeah. Like craftsman homes and just small homes in general, being able to have staircases like that is game changing. I can't believe it took so long to get into the game, but I like how they did it too. It's pretty easy to use and pretty easy to figure out like the controls for how to make them. And it's just so nice to not have to type in like bull prop, whatever, constrained floor elevation. Oh my God. I was, I was a pro at that though in Sims 2. If I tried to learn it now, I'd probably suck at it. But like Sims 2, little 12 or 13 year old me was a pro at it and was using it in every single house made some really cool houses back then. 
<laughs> these ones are better, to be honest. These ones are better. But um, pretty much done with this house now. Just some very basic landscaping. I did not go crazy with the landscaping. The actual house has pretty crazy landscaping, front and back. And I just... Ugh. I couldn't be bothered. I just really did not, <laughs> did not want to do it. I was so done with this house by this point. I was like, slap some bushes in there, slap in some pavement, a fence. We're good. <laughs> um, so that's basically what the rest of this is, is me slapping in some fences and some bushes and stuff like that. Anyways, um, I really hope you like this build. I really hope you enjoyed my rambling. <laughs> and if you did, please leave me a like, please subscribe if you want to see more, because this is all that I do, and leave me a comment if you feel like it. Okay, <laughs> bye!